welcome to Karen's Kitchen. Today we're going to be putting together a Buddha bowl. Don't worry about all the vegetables that you saw before you got to me. We're going to be doing things together and it's going to be very easy. First we're going to start by roasting some vegetables. I already have trayed a tray of okra that I have seasoned and just put on with a little olive oil and seasoning and now I'm going to show you how to do that. I have a second bowl and this bowl has cubed sweet potatoes. You can use anything that you like. I just selected a few vegetables, but whatever you like, feel free to change it up. So I'm going to put this on my next tray and then I'm going to show you how I do it from start to finish. First thing that you do, I'm going to put these sweet potatoes on this tray, roll them out, and I'll place them out there in just a minute. And then the last vegetable that we're gonna roast is just carrots. What you're gonna do is just put your vegetable in the Ziploc bag. This is what I did with the okra first, and then the sweet potatoes. And now I'm gonna show you from start to finish how you do it with the carrots. So you just put your vegetables, cleaned up vegetables in the bag, and whatever seasoning you like. I like to use McCormick's Perfect Pinch Salad Supreme and I put it on the vegetables dry. Just sprinkle it in however much you like. We like a lot. And then the other seasoning that I like to use is also by McCormick. It's called Perfect Pinch Vegetable. And this comes in a lot of different flavors. So just whatever you like. It comes in Italian, it comes in barbecue, it comes in all kinds of flavors. So just sprinkle some of that on and I'm gonna show you the inside of the bag so you can kind of get an idea how that looks. And then I'm going to toss this up first, just to get the seasonings kind of evenly distributed. And you can see that they're jumping around because they're still dry and the carrots are dry. And then I'm going to add some olive oil. This is one of my favorite tools that my dear friend Tim gave me as a gift years ago. And thank you, Tim. I use it every single day. So you just sprinkle on a little olive oil. As you can see, I do not measure things. <laughs> I know that's probably hard. And then you just mix it around so that all the seasonings get on your vegetable and that all of the olive oil is evenly distributed. You see how a lot of it got stuck in one end? Just redistribute it and push your vegetable into the corner and kind of scoop it out. You can even almost turn the little bag inside out and rub it on your vegetables so that you don't leave anything in the bag, okay? And now I'm ready to put it on this tray with the sweet potatoes. And then I'm gonna separate them out evenly so that they, they can uh, cook evenly. So you've got your, your carrots on one end and the sweet potatoes on the other end. And I've got my oven preheating right now to 400 degrees convection because I want this on a hot, hot oven. And we're gonna put these in for about 25 to 30 minutes. This is a tray of okra. I'm gonna put it right on the top. This is in a convection oven. And this is our tray with carrots and sweet potatoes. Keep in mind, whatever vegetable you like, you can use. If you like cauliflower, if you like broccoli, if you like eggplant, peppers, anything you like can be roasted. And we roast a different vegetable every night. We're back from the oven and we're ready to prepare our two sauteed vegetables. So in both of these containers, I'm gonna put in a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit maybe a tablespoon or so, and the same in the other one. And then I'm gonna turn them on. So I'm gonna turn them on not super high, medium high, and medium high. This first saute pan, I'm gonna saute some onions, kale, and mushrooms. And the other saute pan, I'm gonna saute onions, zucchini and squash, and tomatoes. So this is two onions, and I'm gonna put part of the onions, about one onion in one pan, and about the other onion and the other saute pan. We're gonna give them a couple of minutes to, to, uh, to cook, not too much, but we wanna get them, let them saute. While the onions are sauteing, I'll give you a little nutrition lesson here. In this Buddha bowl, what I like to see is all the colors in the rainbow. Every time you have, the more colors that you have, the more nutrients that you have. So when you have a meal that's all one color, 
you're kind of hyper focused on the nutrients that are in that color vegetable. So if you can get varying colors in your meal, it looks better and it's also more nutritious. So let's take a look at our onions and see how they're doing. Okay, the onions are translucent now. That means you can see through them. And we're gonna start adding our other vegetables. So in this saute pan, I'm gonna add kale. So this is about a half a pound of kale. The package says that it's triple washed, but I wash it again anyway, and I remove all those little hard, fibrous, spiny pieces. So these are just the fine little leaves. I've added the kale, and now I'm gonna add the mushrooms and let them just saute and cook down, and then I'm gonna start seasoning them up. So I've got about a half a pound of mushrooms, one onion, and half a pound of kale. I'm gonna turn my burner down just a little bit and give it time to have the water come out of the mushrooms a little bit. And I'm gonna go back to my seasonings. And then just keep sauteing so it gets to the consistency that you like. I like my mushrooms to be soft and the kale to be soft as well. One zucchini and one yellow squash, just cut in small pieces. I add the seasonings, same seasonings, to this pan as well. Just sprinkle it on. I use a lot because I, I like it to be flavorful. You can use any seasoning you like. I'm gonna put the top on this for a few minutes and let it steam a little. I'm gonna check on the kale and the mushrooms and see if they release any of the water. I'm gonna put this top back on and let it give it a little chance to release a little more of the water. All right, so let's check on our sauteed mushrooms and onions and kale. The kale is soft, the mushrooms are soft, the water has come out of the mushrooms. That's what I mean when I say released. And everything is looking very nice. We can leave that just as it is. And let's check on our zucchini and squash and onions. It looks like it's time to add our tomatoes. This is two tomatoes. Toss them on in. And toss it around. Gives it a nice color. You don't need to add the tomatoes, so if you have somebody in your group that doesn't like tomatoes, leave them out. Let this cook down a little bit. Well, we're ready to start building our bowl. Our zucchini and squash and tomatoes are all done. Our saute kale, mushrooms, and onions are here roasted okra, sweet potatoes, and carrots. So now comes the fun part. There's no rules to building a bowl. These can be all vegetable, or you can add meat, you can add hummus, you can add tofu, shrimp, chicken, whatever you like. When I build a bowl, I like to start with my protein in the middle. So this is some roasted chicken that I made uh, earlier. I made it for you in a different session. This is a little bit of, of lamb from lamb chop that we had for dinner last night. And then you just start building your bowl around your protein, okay? So that's the zucchini, squash, and tomatoes. And then you've got a little of the sauteed kale. Then I'm gonna put some carrots in there. Okra. Whoop, lost one of my okras and then some of your little sweet potatoes. And now your bowl is built. I'm gonna put a little avocado on the top because no meal is complete without an avocado on the top. And 
voila, dinner is ready. Thank you for coming to Karen's Kitchen. Enjoy. Thank you.